here in Broadway. I'm sitting here with Jan Raas. He came on the bicycle as a good Dutchman. And why are you here in New York, Jan? I'm here because we published the Circular Economy Finance Guidelines. And the Circular Economy Financial Guidelines. Wow, what, what is that? Well, they're guidelines that tell the financial industry, and that's worldwide, how to finance and what to finance if we talk about circular economy finance. So we tell them what is in and what is out. Okay. So a bunch of organizations got together and uh, thought about how should circular economy be financed. And you, you work at ABN AMRO yeah. as an uh, advisor on, circular, uh, at, on, uh, on, sustainable, uh, on finance. sustainable finance. And, how did that, and, and what, what is in those guidelines? What can, I, what can I see there? We actually looked at the success of the green bond market. That is a worldwide market that exploded uh, and it, it, it now finances billions of CO2 reduction. Now, the circular economy is way more complex because it is about reusing natural resources. So we took that as a basis and extended uh, the work of the Green Bond Committee, so to say, towards the circular economy. And we didn't do that alone as ABN AMRO, but we worked with ING and Rabo yeah. and with the European Investment Bank and with the Alan McCarthy Foundation and with... Uh, Who is that last foundation? Who is that? Well, Alan McCarthy Foundation is a really inspiring group of people that are a think tank uh, that works globally on promoting the Circle Economy Foundation. She's a sailor, right? I mean, she sailed around the world? Yeah, yeah she's the first uh, female sailor to, to actually go solo around the world. And I think she became a, a dame, Dame Alan MacArthur uh, in, uh, in England. Yeah. So you have these 15 organizations got together to make those guidelines, but the Dutch really had a big role in it. Yeah. And also the, the Dutch were so enthusiastic that they invited you to come to the UN and to, uh, to talk to them about it uh, at the, uh, at the uh, delegation? Yeah, correct. Uh, as a country, not only as a private company, uh, uh, but as a country we want to promote the circular economy, so I was invited by the ministry to join them and to show that we are in Holland very good at working private public. And so what happened? You were at the UN, you came there, and, uh, and, and what kind of people did you meet there? And what did they think of these uh, guidelines? How, uh, how, interested, uh, how interested were people? Well, at first I was a little bit impressed by the venue. It's, it, it's actually thousands of people walking around in what they call the high-level political forum. Yeah. And uh, it's a little bit of a circus because there's all kinds of organizations, very broadly scoped. And I really had to get used to the, the busyness in the building. So I did find my way, but I now found the meeting room where we had to be. And um, I actually talked to all kinds of people and they uh, have people from Africa, South America, Europe. Uh, it, it's, it's really the world that meets in New York to discuss important issues like the circular economy. And we were in specific uh, meetings that, that address this issue, of course, again, always from a Dutch context, which is different than yeah. most countries. I must yeah, but where there, where is there international interest about the guidelines, yeah. which that those are not Dutch guidelines, even though ABN AMRO, ING RABO is, of course, you know, the whole banking industry of the Netherlands for 95%. But I mean, are, have these guidelines chance to uh, be used international? Yeah, we, we, we published, we, we put that in the piece. Uh, actually, we, we wrote that it's with the right to copy. And that's, I think, a very good basis for any financial industry, that uh, institution that wants to start. If they want to make a policy, you can go to the guidelines and you have the right to copy. So we actually... You have the right to change? Oh, you could change it. You could make it more strict, for yeah. example, because we, brought, we scoped them in a way that they will be... Uh, a good primer, a good start. Uh, and obviously you can say, well, we are more strict. We, we're, for, for example, going to exclude this and this. We included, for example, uh, uh, plastic to fuels. Uh, and, and some people could say, well, plastic to fuels, that's not circular economy for me because it's still uh, locking us in into the... Yeah, it's basically uh, trying to put a pig on, an, uh, on a lipstick on a pig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. exactly. So, yeah. so those comments we expected and we, 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 we invited them also. Yeah. But we, we, we reasoned that by b being quite open and uh, broadly scoping it, people can make their own uh, definitions and go more strict if they want. Oh, wonderful. So you have been, I, I looked on the LinkedIn profile, you've been a uh, sustainability finance advisor for six or seven years. That's yeah. really a long time in this industry, man. <laughs> yeah, actually, when Circle Economy came around, I think at the beginning when we were talking about it, it was like 
the new kid on the block. Uh, sustainability has uh, been, uh, been around for long, but I think the last 10 years have been really exciting seeing how the circular economy as a part of sustainability, it is not the whole picture, no. because there's also human rights and there's inclusion and there's a lot of stuff, the climate, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be fixed yeah. to our uh, faulty economy, you could say. But it's, um, it's also part of long-termism. So it's also part of looking longer than the short run and looking at what needs to be done yeah. uh, with finance, with money, and what you can do to make this a better place in 2030. And, and do you think, I mean, you've been in this world now for six or seven years, you're now coming to New York, the country of the free month, you know, uh, the free month results, and the country which basically says, uh, fuck it, uh, Paris, we're not going to participate in that. Yeah. Uh, is there real interest? I mean, you're talking about Morgan Stanley, that they are really bu big buyers of green bonds. Is there real interest in this world in sustainability? Well, I think they, they, they go from what we call one of the capitals. We say there's more than just uh, money and we extend it to environmental capital and human capital. But I think they focus on mainly on the, on the financial capital. So that, that's their world. Yeah. And if it becomes big, like the green bond world, they will participate and they will promote it. But for them, it's in a scala of products. So they, they don't exclude anything, they do everything. And it's one of those things. They do defense, they do the oil industry, they do nuclear, they do, and they also do sustainability. Yeah, as a, as a pro mile, uh, per, a tiny percentage of the total business. Yeah, but getting back to the circular economy, I think what's different between Holland and the US is that US has a lot of space. Think about it. It's a huge country. It has big cities, yeah. but around those cities, uh, actually, with this bicycle, cycled uh, to the Bronx, 240th Street, to see how the city evolves. It becomes uh, a little more sparse and flat, but much more industrial. Yeah. And actually, you hit not not nearly the boundaries of the city, but you you see it's it's more dirty, and that's actually where they put all the stuff, yeah. right? This is quite clean. This is downtown. But, um, and I think in a lot of cases, the US has still a lot more room to fill the landfills. Yeah. In Holland, we need to keep the, the nest. True. There's the absolutely nest. no interest in, uh, in, in, in recycling uh, stuff. There's no interest in electric driving here on the East Coast. I mean, it's, uh, it's all a, bit, a little bit of a desert in, uh, in terms of it. But it's nice to know that in the finance world, it's starting to appear that we have some uh, Dutch initiative which is going abroad with the finance guidelines for the sustainability and for the circular economy. So thank you very much, uh, Jan, and uh, good way. Uh, have a good trip back. I will. Thanks.